Hello guys, this is Titi Berry Connect. We're giving news around the globe, news on Facebook. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also comment below. COVID is real guys. There is a video that I've uploaded of a doctor at St. Anne's Hospital who was talking about how people were dying yesterday and he explained it as a bloodbath. That it was just like bathing blood because so many people died yesterday of COVID. So let's sanitize, let's wash our hands, let's protect ourselves and our family. And remember, obedience is better than sacrifice. Good afternoon, Zimbabwe. My name is Dr. Gede. I'm one of the specialist physicians. I'm currently working at St. Anne's in the red, unit, the red zone unit, in the COVID unit. This is very hard. Uh, I have to say, today has been a very difficult day. It's, it feels like a bloodbath. Far too many patients are either presenting too sick to be helped or dying shortly after presentation. And there's a very common thread in all the patients who are losing. Patients who are losing have not been vaccinated, they fall sick and they spend a lot of inordinate time before they seek appropriate medical care. Some of them are unfortunate, they seek care but they are put on therapies that are not effective or not approved and their condition progresses unabated until they can't breathe and they come to us very desperate. Today has been a very difficult day, literally since morning, there has been death upon death with the same situation, late presentation, inappropriate care for too long and by the time they come in they are not able to be saved. I've had to tell a couple who are both battling for life for their lives with COVID at home, but their young 37 year old daughter has passed on from severe COVID 19. I've had to call a son whose mother is also in hospital, very ill, and has had a stroke that unfortunately his father who was admitted last night has not made it. We have every possible ventilator that we have fully occupied by somebody, every high dependency bed is a patient on, and even we have had to create an overflow bed with 10 units with 10 beds that are all fully occupied. So there simply isn't any further capacity to admit more patients. The patients that are in are very ill. A good number of them may not survive it. Some of them will take a long time to recover. And we have to recognize we are in the middle of a very, very serious crisis. We have to do all we can to make our lives and the lives of our patients better. I think it starts with a very good recognition of the importance of prevention. If you're looking at our daily case numbers, we're still getting over 2,000 cases nationally every single day. There is a lot of interaction, a lot of movement, which is leading to more transmission of infections. We need to put an end to that and really comply with masking, social distancing, good hand hygiene and cough hygiene. If we can break the transmission cycle, maybe we've got a small shot of surviving this. But the collateral we've already incurred is way too much. For those who feel sick, if you have the slightest hint of new onset headache, fever, sore throat, your sinuses don't feel right, you can bet that there is a very high chance that probably is COVID. Please get tested early. As soon as you get tested, if you test positive, seek appropriate specialist consultation early. The stakes are too high. You cannot take your chances on untested experimental therapies that have no validation. The drugs that work and are recommended by the World Health Organization, by international medical authorities, the CDC, are available and they work very well. We have ample evidence to show that. I'm not going to try and get into the controversy, but there are lots of therapies that, are, that people are placing more hope on that are ultimately saving to just waste their time and they progress unabated and they present too late. Seek consultation with your family doctor, see a specialist, get tested early, start treatment early with the appropriate level of treatment. The stakes are too high. I know I sound very emotional, but today has been a very difficult day. I have two or three more patients who are still battling for their life. By the end of the day, we may lose a few more patients. So I'm imploring you. I know that there is not very much I can do to change how people think or act, but I think that what we are facing on the clinical side is an absolute catastrophe and we need you to help us make the few patients that we have better. We cannot have people flooding the units when we are already full and have no capacity to help them. Our system is already battling under pressure. I also implore the government to really scale up the capacity for population level vaccination. I think we are in a very difficult situation.